Big changes, guys. Big changes happening. Things happen. You know what else happens? Bed bugs. That's what happens. Stay tuned. Big changes, guys. Big changes. <sighs> Things happen. Get up, get out, get ready to go to it. Stick around for more. One step closer, guys.
guys, you see what's going on. Uh, we had a little problem pop up that I noticed, I think maybe yesterday. I noticed uh, that we have bed bugs. So we've thrown out, I've thrown out the mattress, the springs, everything. I've bleached and bug sprayed everything. I washed about 10 loads of laundry from curtains to bedding to crap that was on the floor and shoved in corners and under the beds. Uh, I've thrown a lot of stuff away. And uh, basically what we're doing is, while we're in the midst of doing this, I'm switching rooms. We're, I'm taking the master bedroom and we're turning that into the gym. And uh, we're taking the gym and we're making that our master bedroom. So uh, less space means less crap. And uh, there's one bit of advice I can give people that's Keep things uncluttered, keep things picked up, sweep and dust a little bit. Make sure you vacuum your beds off periodically, maybe spray them down periodically, do stuff like that. Uh, you do a little research on bed bugs and you see that it's common even in the most luxurious of homes and hotels to you know, the average everyday guy. So uh, I've been killing myself since yesterday and washing everything and scrubbing and throwing stuff out and breathing in fumes and uh, so yeah uh, right now I'm gonna take my Smith machine apart and I don't want to film that because that's not a pleasant thing to do it's gonna be very difficult but uh yeah we got a long ways to go and eventually all this shelving is gonna be cleared off and uh, everything and, I'm basically gonna keep my clothes in here in the closet and my wife is gonna use the closet in the new master bedroom slash old gym. So, so uh, that's kind of a lot what we got going on and uh, I'm gonna try and get everything done today. I'm killing myself here trying to get it done. So, and plus today's leg day and I don't know how much of a leg day I'm gonna put in. So, kind of an update guys and that's what that's what I like to share with my community is updates on everything. So stick around and uh, we'll see what we get from here, guys. And just like that, we got the Smith machine apart and put back up. Have you ever done something like that on your own? Let me know. That is not easy. That's the second time I've done it. And just a little bit of advice, something that might help you out at some point. Uh, leave it a little loose. Leave your gym equipment a little loose and let it kind of settle where it's at and then tighten it up. And uh, that'll get it to sit nice and level and even on your floor. So even though we have a horrible situation that led us to this point with the bed bugs, uh, it's something that I've wanted to do and something I've mentioned before to my wife. And she was she was okay with it at one point, but now she's really okay with it because uh, she just wants to get out of here. And, uh, but, uh, so really it was either try to expand and go into this room or get a building and we've been back and forth on it a dozen times and right now we just don't want to have another payment because this house that we're in is a fixer-upper and there's all kinds of crap that needs to be done and uh it's been kind of a crap hole money pit since we bought it unfortunately so we're trying to get as few of bills as possible not rack up more so uh, this will work for now, and uh, we'll see what happens later in, uh, in our lives. So, just a little update. By the way, I'm going to put the hack press right here. Lat pull down right here. 
I got to have a lot of room for the lap pull down because, well, number one, it takes up some space on its own. Plus, when you sit in front of it to do low cable pulls, you're out another four feet, six feet. And uh, I also use my bench to go in front of it to do movements. And so I need about 12 feet or so of uh, room. So it's going to go pretty much right here. Anyway, there we go, guys. All right, guys. A little lunch down the old gut. Some rice and chicken. And uh, I got a little bit more accomplished. So we got the Smith right there. I still got the bolts loose on it. I'm going to let it settle a little bit and then tighten them up. Rack there. And I got the lamp machine in here. A little bit of ingenuity on my part. Basically unscrewed the two screws that hold these guide rods in up on top. And then I unscrewed that plate down there. And then I just rotated this whole thing over to the side and I taped it all together to where it's just kind of folded over. And uh, yeah, I managed to get it in here. So uh, a little bit of ingenuity on my part. I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. So still a whole lot to do. I'm gonna try and get a leg workout in this evening like normal. Uh, I am tired. I've been going pretty much non-stop since yesterday. So, anyway, guys, well, we'll check into something a little later. I gotta get the leg press in here. <laughs> Woo! Lot of mercy. Next time I have to move gym equipment, I'm paying somebody to do it. I can't. I uh, can't imagine doing like full commercial gyms or. Even my buddy on Home Gym Hacks and Reviews, check out his YouTube channel. He has a crazy amount of uh, equipment. I can't imagine having to move all that. Here we are. I got tons of room to do my deadlifts. I may end up having to take that fan down for whatever reason, maybe not. So, we got a lot more to do. All these shelves have got to get cleaned off. Uh, soon, I got to get the closet done. And uh, again, that's going to be my closet for my clothes and what have you. And my wife will have the other closet in the new master bedroom. So, let's continue on. Uh, Getting things done, we got a lot more to go still, guys. Just like that guys, I am done for the day. Now, I'm supposed to work out legs and I'm gonna do something later. I am not gonna push myself. I'm worn out. <laughs> I still got all this shelving over here, this built-in shelf stuff to take care of. A lot of that's the junk and I got my clothes over there. But, uh, and then the bathroom, we gotta get it cleaned out. And the closet, of course. 
Of course, my clothes will stay in there. My wife's clothes will go in the other room. So tomorrow we're getting our new bed. Uh, tomorrow I also have to go and get an ultrasound in the morning. So my schedule is going to be off again tomorrow. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed kind of a little behind the scenes of uh, what's going on. And, you know, yeah, it kind of sucks with the bed bugs and everything. Things happen. But at the same time, I'm over here in a bigger room, and that's uh, what I needed. And uh, if you've ever or never taken apart fitness equipment like this by yourself and tried to get it back together, that's a job. Especially a Smith machine. Have you ever tried to hold that bar? Try to hold that bar up here for those guide rods. Those guide rods are loose and moving around. And you gotta try and get this carriage on each of those by yourself. All while holding this bar. And these are actually spinning. They spin. Not easy. I've always been that way. I've always got stuff done. I've always done stuff alone. So way it goes guys hope you enjoyed get up get out get ready do a 10 please like share subscribe comment for the body beat down i'm beat down see y'all later get up get out get ready do it do it